know what I'm saying? Sorry for losing my turn for, but it would have been it would be the old one mix up for Noxon Virtue. Do the button check with Simon and then play the entire set with uh, Sephiroth, which I would love insanely. Yeah. I guess with the posters I've got in the back, it should be a Doom Sword Smash instead. But now the goal is away. We are getting back to Smash. Nox Sombra versus Alex. Now we're on Richter, so Simon was just button check exclusive. I see. Oh, makes sense. Okay, now hopefully Nox Sombra's going to have a more difficult opening BBs on deck. Hopefully we can see some. Oh, great. Uh, Any air there would be OB. Just kind of get off into an insane to neutral. Yeah, really, really even right now, just as even as it could be. But Rob, with the stage advantage, which is so important in this matchup, Richter needs space to throw his things, but he throws it perfectly there. Absolute spot-on precisioning with the axe. And now Rob recovering a little linearly. Noxumba might catch on to that. Alex just going going high, doing some back airs, but the down oh. will take the stock already. The call out on his patience there was really good by Alex, really nice to see. But some of the classic Richter shenanigans Ooh. in a tip of forward smash, really clean there. Yep, absolutely. See. So Rob's kill was very much like on the defense, knowing, oh, well, sometimes Rob's down air is just going to work. Richter can only recover so many ways, whereas Noxumber actually got in there, found a big read to get the F smash out. So I'm interested to see how Alex adapts. Do we see more projectiles? Because that's what makes it so difficult for Richter. Are we going to see some some hand-to-hand -hand combos and get him in the air and create more difficulty? Or is Noxumbra simply going to hold it down and throw everything in his possession uh, against this robot? One thing I love about the Belmonts as characters is their ability to extend the corner to almost the other side of stage, but still keep you in the pressure and still keep advantage and then push you back in the corner and then get some... Insane lead trapping. Just a moment. I love seeing it in this guy. Oh, one little one little thing to note. Upset alert. Crep Soleil has lost to Mateo. Both of our guys that we had on stream. It had two gone away in a 2-1. But right now, Noxumbra looking to make it a 2-0 over Alex. That was a very mm -hmm. nice low back air. Yeah. Something that uh, you need to grind out if you're not too familiar with it. Okay. We got a little Here's burner boost just, just to show that it can be done. It didn't really lead to anything, but like, it's an exhibition. And Alex, I definitely know that they know what they're doing. This is still fairly even, all things considered. So as long as you can fight your way back to center stage and get rid of this axe thrower, things could change at any moment. One of the you know what we haven't seen, by the way? Mm -hmm. Any throws from Rob. And I know that's not necessarily Alex's fault. It is so hard to get past Richter's wall of obstacles and then get one of say. the worst grabs in the game. Certainly not one of the worst throws, though. I think that's something we'll see as the set progresses. I would happen to agree with you, my friend. But uh, one thing really strong about Richter is his just ability to throw out Absolutely. all of his weapons really fast. And because they're so fast, you're not going to be whip punished. Uh, you're you're going to keep advantage in the situation. You can just keep throwing them out. I love seeing the down air again. Ah, oh, actually, invincibility uses. Times the ledge get up, and now Nox Umbra is really starting to run away with this one. Alex is kind of getting the right idea. Like, I love the gyro throw onto the platform to slow it down and then grab it before even doing a proper throw. But now you've got to get back from ledge once again, and the F tilt the is going to secure so fast. it. I, I would like to mention there was a moment twice, in fact, on the left hand side platform. Uh, Nox Umbra uh, threw out down me, holy fire, uh, holy water. And it bounced up, and it was on the platform, and they just kind of didn't do anything. That that makes sense because uh, I know a lot of people say this, but Rob is big. So if Alex wanted to press an advantage or get some form of advantage in that neutral situation, he would have had to get hit. In fact, because he's a big boy, he's a big character. It's gonna come into play. He would have been clipped on four days. He's gonna move on anything. The only real option he would have had is maybe set up with gyro, but that's not as scary as gyro in hand. Exactly. So that may be a part of Alex's next strategy, thinking about the stages, which obviously goes a long way when you're against the Belmonts. You want to restrict their amount of room, whereas Rob can work on just about any stage. But the projectiles are simply winning from the Castlevania rep right now. Oh, insane. I love seeing this. Okay, this is that player. Getting the grab. That's the first one we've seen this entire set. 
Down for four, it's a smash classic. That but now is the Joe is finally landing its mark. It's been a while since we've seen it properly connect, but Alex, every time he thinks he's found the way in, Noxumbra just does the next thing and keeps walling out. This is close in terms of numbers. It doesn't feel it. In fact, Alex is winning at the moment, but the Noxumbra moments of pressure have felt just that little bit stronger at the moment. This is insane. I love it. Oh, that net. Something terrifying too. It's such a terrifying. Oh, not quite getting deja vu. Sorry for interrupting myself, but <sighs> Rob's net. Such a terrifying tool on block, even on hit. Because on hit, you can combo into a fairly good amount of Rob's options and just really strong advantage tools. And on block, it can be minus three at best. And that's that's terrifying. Could have been early, three so. grab. Ah, uh, Noxumbra landed straight into the, the path of an already shielding Alex. That could have been a forward throw into some kind of kill, or maybe even a berry setup. He felt if he felt like taking a risk, but nevertheless, Noxumbra back to center stage. There we go. Down that was such a clean confirm of Gyro down to into the up smash. There, we love seeing that from Ross. Oh, we it's like to see the forward S from Noxumbra to say, "Hang on, don't run away with this. It's my turn." Oh, oh, but here we go! So he goes for the spike instead of trying to snuff out Richter's recovery. Was worrying that maybe a projectile or an air dodge was coming out, so tries to catch the recovery with the downer instead. It didn't work, but Alex has been putting in all the work in this second stock. Too early with the downer, but Noxumbra was so afraid of it that he delayed his recovery and couldn't make it back. Unfortunately for Noxumbra, that was sad to see. But terrifying nonetheless. All right. Okay. Yeah, to go was, it was a down air. It could just be a missing put, but maybe he was trying to down air up a gyro or something ridiculous. Like, you, you never know. But anyway, yeah. it, it definitely you did not work know. out. So, Noxumbra has once again got to take the stock before it is too late. The axe, though, finding its what? mark. Another one of them would one. do the job easy. Oh, that was terrifying. No, Sumbra was almost dead there. Absolutely devastating. Getting the grab. That's going to be a forward throw, and that doesn't quite kill Rob. Why are you so heavy? I understand you're made out of metal, but the real you is made out of plastic. Uh, have you seen the size of him? <laughs> Big lad. <laughs> I did mention. Yeah. Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, Finding that really nice forward air angle down to get past all exactly of alex Alice thought Ford. that noxumbra after sitting in the center stage for so long was finally going to jump in and try to attack but that was wrong so the up angled laser did not find its mark and then noxumbra got the free punish with the back air so still not winning yet but right now noxumbra has all the right ideas to make this doable but i'm not giving up on alex just yet i've seen rob tech coming out in this game too and as long as you can do it one more time that's a game Absolutely, I happen to. I have to agree with you because Rob, being such a technical character, he can play incredibly technically and get such an advantage off of that. That was insane. Uh, I'll smash him. I didn't. I didn't quite think that was possible. Uh, of course, it makes yeah, you sense. don't traditionally see it. But actually, in between the hits of holy water, throws out that gyro, goes for a dash grab, but it misses. That could have secured the job in the right conditions. Instead, Alex is going to get the up air, perfect di from Noxumbra, not even nearly killing him. The snipe kill oh. instead. Bring that two o to Noxumbra. That was really well played. I enjoyed watching that. Sadly, Alex cannot find. If only Alex could find that one moment to get in, find that one grab. He could have, it could have been a different story. Could have been a different job. But alas, yep. we don't live in that universe, unfortunately. The man is absolutely crestfallen, but at the end of the day, Noxumbra did everything right, waiting for Alex to let those little guards in and just doing the best moves for each situation. Like, Alex had the lead for ages, but was not really finding any great opportunities to win in neutral and keep it going. Noxumbra was just biding his time and took the win. And it looks like we've already decided who we're going to be getting immediately afterwards. So that's Noxumbra through on winner's side. Alex is still in the tournament. We'll be trying to do some loser's side qualifiers. But Entirely we possible, are going to be heading to the loser's bracket now here in Pool C2. We've got Red Cookie versus Pito. Now, so 